All right, welcome to another Star Wars Destiny unboxing. So today we have Star Wars Destiny Convergence, which is the second last set uh, released. So as you can see on the front of the box, there's Envy's Nest. It also looks like there's Watto, some Stormtroopers, uh, Yoda's there. If we go to the side, we get one of our bounty hunters right there. Uh, we got Captain Phasm at the top here. Obviously K2SO has a card. And uh, if you can see the starter decks there. And we get Chewbacca from looks like from Solo because he's got the goggles on his head. So without further ado, let's see what we open. So. And as you can see, we are stuffed to the gills with packs, so start to start getting to it. That's in our first pack. So, ooh, if you look, you can see Ventress on the packaging. It's a pretty cool one, and that uh, looks like Padme on, on the die, so maybe we can hit a Ventress. She was probably my favorite character in the original Clone Wars, um, the animated, like, where they ever they were the Cartoon Network series ones. Uh, okay, so we have Tech Team, Strong Intuition, Rendezvous, Hard Bargain, and our first is a rare, is a support vehicle, the A Wing. So it looks like it's in some kind of trouble there. Let's put that up there. Okay. Looks like there's a little bit of fire going on. Not sure what that's all about, but uh, hopefully the pilot's okay. Okay, so we have Pulverize from looks like The Last Jedi. Ooh, Ahsoka in a defensive stance. Skullduggery. Hampered. Looks like uh, somebody's getting shot at. And another vehicle support, the V-Wing. That's a new one. I have not heard of the V-Wing before. But uh, it kind of looks like an H-Wing, to be honest. You know, the whole wings are on the side. Looks kind of like uh, kind of maybe a bit of a misnomer there with the name. I don't know. Is there already like an H-Wing that I don't know about? Maybe some visual dictionary they've come out with or something. Okay, so we have Field Medic, Overqualified, Near Miss, our first location, Mean Streets of Corellia. So this is from Solo. Pretty cool. And another upgrade in Moxie. There is our first upgrade. Turn around that way. It looks like Moz is getting ready to jump into action. Okay, so press the advantage. Lore Hunter. Squad Tactics. Barter with Blood. That event. And our first character is Mace Windu. Look at that. Inspiring Master. So he looks, I'm going to be honest, he looks pretty upset in that picture. <laughs> I don't know who pissed him off, but uh, looks like he's about ready to uh, straight up murder uh, somebody. That's, it looks good kill. I think uh, it's one guy you do not want to make upset. Okay, so Force Compliance. A Friend Lost. Like the armor on Obi-Wan. Block. Reap the Wards. I think that's the box art there. Or no, no, because he has the goggles up. My, my bad. Just more Chewbacca, I guess, solo word. And Punishing One. So it looks like it's Dengar's ship. If you read the flavor text. So there he is. So we haven't hit Dengar yet, even though he's on the box, but we did hit his ship. 
I mean, even if you don't end up, you know, getting Dengar to play the ship, I mean, you can always create your own story in your head, you know. Somebody else stole it from him. Kind of like Lando had his, the Falcon uh, taken from him. You know, that kind of thing. All right, so Unfetter. Hunt them down. Skullduggery. Honorable Sacrifice. And Emphy's Ness is Electro Ripper. Oh, that's a, that's a tough one to say. But look, look at the die. You can clearly see it's uh, focused straight on this area. The, the percentage of the art that is shown and that is actually used on the die is like 25% of what they have. Okay, so we get some sort of evil looking droids there with Energize. Unshackle. Wanted. I like that. The Fighting Pits, a Mimbomb. So another solo uh, location. And our rare is Quarren Tracker. So he looks to be a bounty hunter. Squid-like bounty hunter guy. Okay, so we get another Last Jedi looking card. No answer. Electromagnetic Pulse. Smuggling Ring. Ooh, Watto's Shop on Tatooine. I wonder if the, the locations actually matter or if it's just there for flavor. And Rebel Cache. So again, there's very little... <laughs> a little picture of the art is like right there. So it's kind of funny how... Don't focus too much on the character, rightfully so on the die. Alright. Okay, so we have strike back. Ooh, the shock collar. Seeking the truth. It binds all things. And our rare is Imperial Officer. So despite the name, this isn't actually a character. It's just a support leader. So it's interesting in that regard. All right, another no answer. Ooh, breaking bonds. Pretty cool. Ooh, instigate. So our rogue one. Mine extraction. So poor uh, Poe there. <laughs> and overkill. So another upgrade. So it looks like a uh, pretty good upgrade for range damage. Okay, so the best defense. I wonder if there's a good offense card. <laughs> Twin Strike, so Asajj. Wounded. Last, laser, sorry, Laser Trip Wire. And Sith Teaching. So that's a really cool piece of art. Even the die, right? Look, look at that die, though. I like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we have Fatal Blow, Hunt Them Down, oops, a little bit ahead of myself there, Seeking the Truth, Target Acquired, it's Darth Vader, here apparently somebody's trying to kill him, and Emphy's Nest Marauder, so again, another Emphy's Nest related character, or weapon, or whatever you want to call them. 
still look for our first legendary though. We've gone through 12 packs, so third of the box. <laughs> but like last time, we ended up getting a bunch at the end, so it does not mean anything. Okay, so here we go. Unfetter, Isolation, smuggler, Smuggling Ring, Fight Dirty, so it looks like uh, Dengar and Chewbacca, and Sentinel Messenger. That's really cool. So it looks like it's just got like a hologram on its face to like show the Emperor. Interesting. I have no idea what that's from, but looks cool at least. And it's some kind of droid, so. All right, so we got automated defenses, channel the force, truce, Oh, that's pretty cool. So they actually include something from the Clone Wars movie. Enticing reward. And Sith teaching. So we get our first duplicate of rares. So those Sith are going to be really learning by the time they're done with all these teachings. Okay, Pulverize. Ooh, A Tale of Tragedy. That's pretty cool. And I'm guessing that's not a story the Jedi would tell you. Yeah, they can make a whole set of cards with all the uh, classic um, flavor text from... Classic lines, and sorry, in, in terms of flavor text from that story, in that scene in particular. Uh, sure Shot. Rita Awards. And our first legendary is the man himself. Palpatine. Unlimited power. So the particular look of the eyes, just creeping you out, those staring right into you for that. Unlimited power, so experience the full power of the dark side. Ooh. All right, all right, tech team, electromagnetic pulse, death mark for Han. Bactica therapy. And look at that, another character. A K2SO incognito. Pretty sweet. I think they're coming out of the Disney Plus series, if I recall, so he'll be in that. So even though, spoiler alert, he died <laughs> at the end of the movie, he still can come back. All right, Fatal Blow, use the Force. Again, that feels like that should be like at least like a rare or like a legendary name. Block, Rote, and First Order Stormtrooper. So here we go, another character for troopers. So if you want to build the deck around your troopers, there you go. And it's nice that, that you can see that they've come out with multiple Troopers, so that you know you can get a little variety in the in the characters if you want to build around that kind of strategy. You aren't stuck to using one if it's not the greatest, or if you want to just have flavor reasons, have different ones, make the game a little more exciting, etc., etc. You at least have some options, which is always good. So let's strike back, fit of rage. I don't know. That looks just like a generic Sith guy. Unpredictable. Electro shock. A poor droid getting its head lobbed off. And another A-Wing. So we're going to have a fleet of A-Wings, apparently. Okay, so a sinister piece. Overqualify. Ooh. Custom uh, bandolier. So Chewbacca, it's a custom. Profiteering. And oh, it's legendary. Chewbacca, well, that's pretty cool to get his, his equipment upgrade there and in the same pack as himself. So this is, now this is the one from the box. The Beast. So this is just from the art and everything about it. It's screaming the solo original. Chewbacca.
it's funny when you watch the movie and you look at the characters and you know how many times you've seen them together and just just kind of came together right as soon as they're they found each other in that movie it's just like yeah okay yeah it's totally makes sense that they're together like nobody ever he doesn't at least i didn't feel like they have to kind of go into more detail about the relationship it just that's how it is like it's almost like that's how it's always been all right so the best defense again Ooh, lore hunter rendezvous who's a separatist conspiracy Ooh, I like that one the art wise and another corn cracker so another, another squid guy so if you need to you need to flush out your uh, bounty hunter deck there's some super uh, bounty hunters if you don't mind the smell You should wonder if how um, there's so many there's such a need for bounty hunters. What it must be a pretty uh, popular profession. Energize again. Ooh, discipline mind. To draw attention. Now that is pretty cool. I will say, I like the perspective, having the terrified Ewok's face as being chased down. Dit Ditium curse a power cell. I probably butchered that. And number one. So we got number one in the set. It's Asajj Ventress, swift and cunning. That's odd that, that she's wearing uh, the mask. But she is a bounty hunter, so... This is clearly taken from a later point in her story, when she's no longer working with Count Dooku. See, like, I have memories more of the, the original Clone Wars series. Where she kind of sticks around, I think, with Count Dooku and all of them for the whole series, and then has a big battle with Anakin, as opposed to this, you know, the Clone Wars TV series where she kind of goes off on her own. All right, so measure for measure, attunement, another wanted, lightsaber mastery, and another electro ripper. And these boxes have just been. Full of uh, duplicates, just getting a lot of uh, a lot of those. And it's funny, I don't think I've gotten to my knowledge like a duplicate of a character that actually you could use twice of its dice. Like it's always been single cards. There was equipment or some character that doesn't require two. Okay, so prey upon, use the force. Another death mark. This is a military camp on Calor, and a three hundred a three hundred blaster. So there's your blaster. So not quite as exciting, but you know, like I said before, it's it's more of a you know pick and shovel kind of card. Not all of them are going to be super exciting, you know, characters or so and so's weapon. It's going to be some going to be generic weapon, you know, generic gun. Seize the day! Look at that, Padme fighting off the uh, creature. Friend lost. Another custom, Mandaladeer. Convergence, some Rebels action. And another Mates Window, see? Happens all the time, you complain about something and then bam, the, the box is like, oh by the way, here's a character where you can actually use the second die. See, now it's not totally worthless. So now if I wanna play two Mates Windows, I can easily. All right, so make amends. Looks like uh, General Grievous in that uh, art. Attunement again, I have another draw attention. This is the Mean Streets of Corellia again. And Lore Santica. It's a character I would not have expected to get their own card, considering he was in the move first couple minutes of uh, Force Awakens. That's cool though. I'm gonna be hating on a on a cool character like that, and he is the true believer. Is it Tekka maybe? Probably Tekka. I don't know. Either way, I probably I got it right between one of those two. All right, so next pack we have a press advantage, a twin strike. 
a wounded. It's just a flesh wound. No mercy. So pretty awesome Anakin Skywalker art on there. And Kess Dameron, who, if you can tell by the art, looks just like Poe, because that's his father. So there was a, one of the series, one of the prequel comic books, uh, showed, followed uh, Poe's parents, how they met, and talked about them. I think, I think they're at the Battle of Endor, or the cleanup crew at the Battle of Endor, so they were involved in that. It's pretty cool to see them there. All right, so we have automated defense, defensive stance, unpredictable, electroshock, and another legendary Captain Phasma. How cool is that? Pretty awesome. Got that kind of nice kind of look that's clearly from The Last Jedi. So unfortunately, that's probably the last time you're gonna be seeing uh, Phasma, but she was pretty awesome. Uh, character while she was around. Okay. There we go. We got, we're up to three legendaries now, so pretty cool. Okay, so we have fresh supplies, secrets laid bare, instigate, military camp. And imperialists. So, step self struck mechanism with fatal flaw. So, gonna thank some ignorance here. I'm not too sure what that uh, is referencing uh, a ship from, but you know, given the size of the Star Wars universe, it's probably uh, could be a lot of things. So, we're up to three legendaries, so hopefully, we can pick up the pace a little bit. All right, so we have Sinister Peace, Overqualified, Calculated Risk, Exterminate, and Watto. There he is, the Stubborn Gambler. Pretty cool guy. I always like Watto. Unfortunately, we're getting a little low on packs here, so we got to uh, better start making some of these count because uh, we've only hit three uh, three cards that uh, are of the legendary variety. So hopefully, we can uh, hit a few more before this pack is done. Because let's be honest, that's what everyone wants to see, right? They just don't want to see. Cards that anyone can open. So Rogue One card in Force Compliance, Breaking Bonds, a Dodge, Advanced Training, and another Legendary in Force Storm. Look at that. He is pretty happy to be shooting lightning out of his fingers. That's an expensive one too. Wow, cost four. So I would hope it'd be pretty good if you're uh, paying four for the four storm. You got to wrestle that one a little bit. Okay, so measure for measure, discipline mine, another dodge. Ooh, salt flats of crate. That's a cool card. I remember they did that on the um, the Lego show there. Competition one, one of the groups did the salt uh, flats. And Chewbacca's blaster rifle. There you go. So we got Chewbacca, and now we got his rifle. So I guess he's not using the bowcaster. He's got a pretty awesome rifle to use. You know, click, click, boom. All right. So we are now up to a total of five. So as usual, as soon as I complain about something, I get rewarded. <laughs> So you're in life that if you complain enough, you will always get what you want, right? 
No, of course, that's wrong. I just have a nice knack for putting my foot in my mouth. So make demands. Isolation. Ooh, Hondo for a price. We're home. That's pretty cool. Again, that's at least it's uncommon, but that should definitely have been like a rare. Come on. That how can you not have that be like the name of a rare of some kind? And Sorusu training. Cool. I imagine that's like a fighting style of some kind. Like that awesome game for PlayStation, right? The fighting Star Wars one? Paris Kai, whatever it's called. Sounds kind of like that. I mean, they're fighting in the snow, so. Must be really cool and cold. Okay, so Prey Upon. Channel the Force. Truce. Deflective Slash. Deflecting Slash, sorry. And Maz Kanata. There she is. So this looks like uh, from The Last Jedi. She's hiding from being hit. Or I guess it could be Force Awakens. After they invade the temple or uh, her palace, whatever it is, castle. All right, we're down to three packs. So let's cross our fingers. We can get that last legendary. All right, so we have Probe. Use the Force. Wanted. Protective suit. Well, that's like really uh, like 1950s, like astronaut spacesuit looking thing. And there it is, Padme Alvidala, Resolute Senator. She's got kind of like a bow for her hair, I guess. And looks like some kind of silver dress on. Interesting. So there is number six for our legendaries. She's not looking pressed either in that art. Think she's maybe getting told some BS or something. All right, probe. Bit of rage. Another Hondo for a price. Oh, there's another Padme card. Aggressive negotiations. And conscript squad. Wow. If you want to say anything, I would have assumed this art was from like. One of the, uh, you know, Modern Warfare, you know, those kind of games. It's like a FPS, you know, squad shooting. That does not look like a set of Star Wars characters. And last but not least, our last pack. The last pack. <laughs> All right, Field Medic. Secrets lay bare. Wow, that is creepy. Look at that. Look at the eyes in that thing. Just staring right into you. Just look at that. Just creeping me out. There you go. Have fun sleeping the night. Uh, near miss. It's a little K2SO action. Fleeing the scene. And Star Viper. Ooh, look at that vehicle. It's kind of like a plant almost. So, And that's all she wrote. So let's do our inventory, see how well we did. So we did meet our quota of our six legendaries. And I gotta say, can't be too sad with that. Let's move this in, actually see that. Um, you know, a Palpatine, a Force Storm. You know, flavor-wise, work with it. Chewbacca and his uh, blast rifle. And then we got Phasma and uh, Padme. So pretty cool legendaries. And then as for our rares, let's see what we got for characters. So we got a Maz, a Watto, a Kess Dameron, which I never would have predicted to have a card. Uh, let's see, we got uh, Lore, <laughs> San, Tekka, uh, Mace Windu. Didn't get an Amphis, we got a, a Saz, Ven a Saz, Saz Ventress, uh, the Trackers. Another A-Wing, Stormtrooper. I better put it back here. Let's do this. Actually see what we're dealing with here. You see the top of my K2SO. The Messenger. Got the Marauder at least. 
Um, we got an officer. Another tracker. Mace Windu. So yeah, it looks like, um, you know, as far as the rares went, I don't know if we really, I mean, I think these are kind of, some of these are kind of like our more of a highlight area. These are kind of the more, eh. I mean, KTSO is obviously awesome, so don't lump them in there. But uh, yeah, I mean, the other box, I think we definitely hit a more home run in terms of hitting more cool characters. Though, like I said, that's really awesome to get that and that. Especially her as a bounty hunter. I'm sure there's a non-bounty hunter version of her too, so. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I uh, appreciate uh, tuning in, and hopefully you enjoyed another uh, one of our boxings, and be sure to look out for more. And, of course, there's tons more Star Wars words on the channel if you haven't checked those out already. So have a good day. Okay, bye.